Rahman Rahim. Dear viewers, now come to second part of the course for designing 10 storied residential building in EDAPS. Now we will go for defining material properties. Previously, we have shared one EDAPS checklist. For column, I will use 3500 psi, for beam 3000, for slab 3000 psi and FY60 KSI. If I use these brick chips as a aggregate, coarse aggregate, then modulus of elasticity will come like this 45,000 into square root, this a prime C. For stone chips, 57,000 into square root, square root of a prime C. So let's define, add copy of property, for example. 3500 psi this i will use for column here i'll change this one 3500 psi and modulus of elasticity e will be changed here we will use stone chips so this one copy and paste as a value this is the value copy this one then here here digit you can check one two three four five six seven we will paste it one two three four five six seven so it's okay we can make it for eight okay and then click on okay now add copy of properties 3000 psi 3000 psi here we will change 3000 psi here also we can use brick chips but for all i will go for stone chips then copy this paste value this one copy then here okay then click on okay here we can write e s i for slab also we will use same now we will go for section properties we will delete all this because we need clear section list for our convenient use now add new property column we will define column c 12 by 15 inch depth 15 width 12 here this column ok and this clear cover 1.5 means that means out surface of river to concrete is so 1.5 it will be fixed as we are using 1.5 inch clear cover and these things we don't need to be worried about because reinforcement to be designed we will design the reinforcement so click on ok here also you can check frame section for ETAPS 9.7 we can add 1.5 plus river dia plus tie dia for ETAPS 2015 and later on it will remain 1.5 column this ok now click on ok add copy we will define some more section 12 by 18 18 as we have add copy of property so other things will be same click on ok here river strength 60 ksi so in this ok done add copy of property c 12 by 21 
is also okay add copy of property c 12 by 24 as we are using this is standard size for 3 inch increment 21 24 27 like this this will be 27 c 12 by 27 here we will change our strength also 35000 psi 3500 psi okay now we will some add some beam properties for beam we will select 3000 psi first we will add red beam 12 by 15 15 here we will change it to beam and this 2.5 this is okay click on okay done add copy of property gb 12 by 18 we will define two sections for grid beam if required we will increase the section later so click on ok now add copy floor beam b 10 by 15 10 ok add copy of property b 10 by 18 Okay, then another one I will add beam 10 by 21. Okay, so now material properties and section definition finished. Now we can go for modeling. Select this one column. We can use our auto section list for designing column design. So go for define, define frame section, add new property, auto section list, column, this one, click on OK. Add copy of property, grade rate is 2. Click on OK. Column grade beam, add copy of property, this floor beam. F beam, this 3, you can add remove click on ok we have defined auto section so that as per requirement it apps will design the proper section in the proper location i will go for great beam here like this ok now we can rotate this column as per our column layout here all this direction now this one one two three one two three four five six the six number of column having perpendicular direction and here one seven eight so I'll select this this two this one this one this one two four 5, 6, 7, here on this. Now I will rotate like this frame assignment. From here, frame assign frame local axis. From here, also you can assign. From here, you can go for 
assign local axis like this so provide 90 degree apply okay now we will draw grid beam we will go for auto section list gb i can draw like if i use this one then i can draw it quickly like this otherwise if i go for this one i have to select from here to here click then it will add beam now this one finished now we can go for share all wall section here we will use 10 inch wall 3500 psi 10 inch click on ok done now we can draw grid also subgrid also but i will go for replicate option here to here 3 feet 5 inch we can consider 3 feet 5 inch like this I click on ok this one from here to here 3 feet 11 inch minus 3 feet 11 means apply from here also same apply and this distance 5 feet 5 feet apply now this one I will break like this draw for share all this i can use auto peer option so that later on i don't need to assign different different peer section we can assign later on different peer section if i click on no i will go for yes okay to here 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 now here we have a small extra portion from here to here 11 inch this one i can replicate minus 11 inch we can take it as one feet no issue apply one from here also one here to here here to here now this delete this is our share all from here we will take grid view draw snap option select perpendicular projection apply click ok like this like this from here to here like this so now we have finished our grid beam level now we will go for first floor level for this one we can copy whole history apply to story 1 here first floor we will select click joint in xy plan any joint if I click here it will select all the elements in xy plan not in z plan see here only the elements in xy plan selected so now I can 
change this beam section to floor beam click on apply like this now this is our floor beam now we will define slab section then we will draw slab for our floor for defining slab section we will design how much slab thickness required for our floors we will consider one maximum span area for slab thickness design from that span we will calculate required slab thickness and in regular practice we are providing same slab thickness for a whole floor in the next part we will go for that so today up to this thanks for watching stay tuned for more press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update